Good morning, it's Matt here from Go Green Auto. So I've just come to the new rugby um, charging hub here at the services on the M6. Not been here before, so I thought I'll just do a little video while I'm here. So there are 12 grid serve chargers. These ones have got CCS only, and all of those, what's that, one, two, three, four, five, six, six of them have got CHAdeMO and CCS. And then here we have another further 12 Tesla CCS chargers as well. So this site has been open for some time now. It's been all over the internet, but I'm not up this part of the world very often. Well, not at all. Uh, so I happen to be passing today. So yeah, great to see it and uh, obviously get my free charge there on the Tesla superchargers. But um, so yeah, uh, a site like this, well, motorway services, typically they've got the sort of one, two or three chargers um, that they've always had and uh, are struggling to upgrade to something like this where you've got 24 and that's purely down to the grid connection. So these boxes here is where the power comes in which is controlling all these chargers. So uh, another hub that's just opened is the one at Oxford and that's taken something like two years to get that grid connection in and in that case it's coming from the other side of the city and they've also put a huge um, battery grid storage in so the energy going to the hub is um, obviously cheaper at night and they can store it and also often greener so it's usually the grid connection which is delaying the rollout of these chargers but obviously this is what the future is and sites like this well a replication of this will be coming to all the motorway services eventually and I've been here about 20 minutes now because I've been chatting to a couple in an MT5, but just look how many cars are here now charging. It's great to see. One other thing I like is these are at the far end of the car park, furthest point away from the uh, buildings you can get. So the advantage of that is people don't park their cars in the closest spaces like they do with the disabled parking, just because they're lazy. So it's great that the EV chargers are a long way from the building just because they don't get iced or blocked by petrol and diesel cars. Because traditionally chargers were normally put nearby the building here because of course the electricity has got to come from the building. Um, but it's good to see on new installations like this they've gone to the effort of putting it on the far side of the car park. So really nice new modern services here at Rugby but Jesus it's expensive. A Pret um, baguette £5.20 baguette and coffee £8.55 if it wasn't lunchtime I wouldn't be getting it but I've got um, quite a drive back still I need to visit somewhere else so it's going to be mid-afternoon before I'm back so I needed to eat so you just have to pay the prices but anyway my car's fully charged now so I'm going to disconnect and get on my way so hit that thumbs up again as always if you found it useful or interesting I'm going to get on my way and I'll see you on the next video.